Hello, hello, warriors. Welcome to Key on Play Samurai Love Ballad Party. This is Masamuni Act 2. We're going to continue on, and there's going to be a cross road. Cross road is where um you don't need a love passes, and it continues on forever and ever. So, um yeah, this is going to be a longer episode, so sit back and enjoy. Let's continue. Story mission. Oh yeah, as you see, it's 9.13 and I took a nap and I'm a little bit sleepy still, but I'm okay. So, let's see. We can't afford this because we don't got enough pearls, so we're gonna go with the fate. If you don't, you don't get a portrait, which is okay for me. We're gonna get with coins. Coins, get with coins. And let's see, I look ridiculous. I need to fix that. I'll fix it later. Anyways, um, get and finish mission. No, thank you. <clears throat> so now that we did that, we're gonna go ahead and clear the mission. I never got my family por portraits, but that's okay. I don't really mind. As long as I got all of Mitsunari's portraits, I'm okay, I'm good. I'm Gucci. Gucci! Anyways, let's go. We finished it. Crossroad Fate, the Weeping Lady. <laughs> I said continue, please. I- What the- <laughs> I was about to say. I was gonna say. Lord Masamune, as soon as there is no denying to Lord Tsumato Min that this, in fact, is Lord Masamune, they cannot hide their terror. This is a reaction I have been seeing before in Yozawa. His own citizens, too, are afraid of him, of, wait, afraid of him to get anywhere close. Come to think of it. When I first arrived at the castle, wake up me, just wake up. I need to wake up. Oh, thank all the gods. He finally left. Lord Masamuni is really frightening, is he? My goodness, just looking at him is enough to give me the shivers. He's an absolute monster. At that time, everyone had been so afraid of Lord Masamuni that his own castle had always had this sort of eerie tishin. However, the more they got the chance to know Lord Masamuni really is, the more that began to change. <laughs> I don't do that. Yeah, I don't do that. It would be nice if the people were um here able to get to know him the way those in the castle do. Sorry I kept you all waiting too long. I know. Lord Lord Tsunamato booming phase to bring the oppressive Okay, let's, let's stop. Air the the Heir of the castle immediately back to life. I had to be quiet because I got a text and I'm like, really, really? Somebody just texted me. I don't know what they texted me about. Anyways, yeah. Welcome home, my lord. So you returned to us at last. We're in all the hall. What? I almost said hall. Where in the hell have you been? Come on, give me a break. I came back in one piece, didn't I? I have to get credit for that. Giving you credit will just have you going out of find something else to take credit for, I'm sure. Just be happy I'm here to nag at after so long, would you? 
With the little laugh that easily brings smiles to everyone's faces, Lord Tutsum Natmato shows us in to his main hall. Still just as late, back as a castle. As I remember. <laughs> okay, Keon, this this is not this is not Samurai High School musical. <laughs> Just stop it. Okay, let me do it one more time. Like you're going to talk. That's true. Hey, what the hell does that mean? After letting oh okay, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's that gets me all the time. Okay, after letting all the retainers know what they need to, the three of them settle in to chat. Kodro stays quiet. Next to them, Lord Kodro keeps his lips perts together. After giving him a quick glance, Lord Tusimato addresses Lord Masamune. Masabuni, stay here tonight and go back in the morning. No, I'm going back to Yonizawa before the day is out. If we leave now, we should make it back well before sundown. I see. Seriously, you're going back already? You can stay, Zane. I didn't say I wanted Zane staying here. Oh, Tsunamato, you're so mean. <laughs> that's that's creepy. I don't know why I did that. Anyways, I'm kidding. You go with Masmuni and make sure he makes it back to Yonizawa. <laughs> okay. Need to put a little effort into their lives. But I'm not in I'm not in move to do it. <laughs> oh wait, y'all. Yeah. Sure thing. I'll be sure to show my face again in Yonizawa before long. Le yeah, let's talk again then. With that our short stay at Lord Tusimato's castle ends and we leave to make our way back to home. On our way to Yoizawa, Lord Kojo and Lord Zaysali bring their horses back despite riding ahead of us. What's going on? I soon find out as I see them both looking up at the sky. Lord Masmuni, the clouds are starting to gather. Let us find an inn for the night before the storm that is sure to come. Yeah, I suppose we should. A storm? I look up myself and sure enough the sky is already so dark it has started to block out the sun. The two of them ride ahead again and handle the arrangement at the nearest inn. Well, here's our stop. Take care of Lord Masamune. As they say so, Lord Kodro and Lord Zane are already walking off towards the inn, inn nearby. Wait, where are you going? We're staying at the inn next door. Why? Why you want? Well, you want me? To, you want me in Masmoon get some bound chicken, 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 wow, wow, chan. I see how you are. So Masa, make sure you get plenty of. Close personal time with Keon, all right? Really? Hmm? You want to get cozy with the Masa too, don't you, Keon? Seriously, Zane? Wow, Zane. Lord Zane cuts off whatever Lord Masamuni would have said with teasing me instead. You don't have to be so obvious about it. He's blushing. When I look to Lord Masamuni for help, he already has a fierce blush on his cheeks. As we stand there, 
struggling for words, the rain start to fall in big fat drops. There it is. You're going to get soaked to the skin, you two. Hurry and get inside. Bye now, doll. Right before he goes, Lord Zane waves at me, whispering something in my ear. Hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear. It doesn't look like it, but it's a good idea to let Masa have whatever he wants from time to time. I can still hear you, Zane. Chuckling at the sight of us, the two of them disappear into the inn next to uh, ours. Why to make things awkward for us, Lord Zane? Guess we should go. Yeah. Smiley, I'm not saying that word. At one another, we go back to the room the innkeeper has prepared for us. Our special suit. There's a passage straight to the onsen from the room. You will be able to enjoy the sanctuary without interruption if you like. Oh? The way she says it seems to imply she knows exactly why we wouldn't want to be disturbed. I'm glad that there's there's no freezing time. The, the, I'm not freezing, but this is a, this, I don't know how long I'm going to keep on going on, but I guess I'm going to go on until it freezes on me, since it's a, 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 a crossroad of fate. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Should I say, especially as requested, my lord? Zane, you are so disowned. <laughs> He's blushing as he says that. So please do enjoy your stay. With a hidden smile, the innkeeper leaves us alone in the room. As soon as she goes, silence follow. After looking around the room quickly, Lord Masamune speaks through it is in an a, a, a whisper. They went out of their way to do this for us, so let's enjoy it, even if it's just a little while. All right. When he meets my eyes and smiles, it still makes me as shy as the first time he ever did. He seems to think over something for a while before opening his hand to me. Care to indulge me? What? My heart jumps into my throat to hear the last words I ever thought I would from him. So he did hear what Lord Zane said to me. Hmm? Well, it's not often we get to be alone like this anymore. While Lord Masmuni still has his hand extended, I walk to him myself instead. From there, I put my head on his chest and he surrounded me in his in a warm, comfy embrace. My heart flutters. It's beating frantic and painful as if it's the first time it has ever known the incredible warmth of his arms. Even so, I still feel so safe here. Lord Masamuni strokes down my shoulders with his palm, his breath against my ear as he leans down to whisper, Hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear. Will you come with me? Hmm? Into the ocean. What? In my shock, I jerk away from him without meaning to. I was joking. <laughs> you better be, Masamune. Lord Masamune chuckles, a boy's free spirit sort of laugh that I'm sure he must have ever had forever whatever i don't care we've been so busy that i must have forgotten just how long it's been since i've seen him really smile like this you're always talking about his smile it's always about the smile the smile this the smile that after taking our baths and enjoying dinner lord masamuni and i have tea together 
All the food here was really delicious, wasn't it? Rus what? Rus R rustic fare is really different from what we usually have. Ooh la la, Masamuni wearing a robe. I really like the apples a lot. Yeah, when Tosumato restored this part of the province, the security that brought to the area allowed them to start harvesting. It's the perfect example of the land and its people working together to bring something wonderful to the world. We all in this together, everyone. Da, 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 da. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll stop. As soon as, I mean, as he says so, Lord Masamuni's eyes are shining with gratitude for his citizen and everything they do for him. That's cute, but please show something interesting because that was not interesting. Okay, so let's continue on. And yet, it's Lord Masamune. It's Lord Masamune is here. Lord Masamune, please forgive us. We did not see you there. It really leaves a bitter taste in my mouth to leave them with their misunderstandings about who he really is. Lord Masamune, none the wiser about these thoughts, continue continues to talk to me his face showing the lightness of my heart I mean his heart there are places here of the deep snow but there are also very fertile lands too now that they suffered no battles the I want to cover their future that will be lovely to see I will it will. I see the duty of the Dante as not only to hold lands, but to protect them, but also to serve as an opportunity for growth for our people. It's a rare. It's rare for Lord Masamu to be so forthcoming, but the warmth of his heart is clear to me in how he sees the people as his equals. I'm glad. He is willing to tell me of his dreams to know they include the future still ahead of us. I want to see the future too at Lord Masamune's side. Taking in my smile for a moment, Lord Masamune leaves a thoughtful silence linger for a while. Finally, he speaks again, this time choosing his words deliberately and carefully. I want you... I want to ask you to be part of that future here at my side. Oh Lord Masamune. Though it's a little embarrassing to be repeating myself. He stops himself adjusting his posture a little awkwardly. But when he meets my gaze again, his gaze is so clear that it makes my back straighten too. Is he going to say, will you marry me? Were you marry me? Is, is he going to do that? Thank you for teaching me what it is to love and for allowing me to know the joy of keeping those I love close. I am grateful every day that this world of sorrow still brought me to you. I hope that you will still choose to live in it with me. Every word so carefully chosen with such reverence and care leaves its mark upon my heart. Lord Masamuni is going to see to it that we're always together. I have so many happy memories with him now, starting from the day we met. I don't know when it happened, but tears start to string my eyes as if the passion with which those memories are kept is too much to bear. Why are you crying? You freaking, I'm not even crying, but you crying, you freaking weak. Please say something. I will. When I nod, I feel the heat of those tears leave their mark down my cheeks, their weight as they fall upon my clothes. I have to tell him too or he'll never know for sure. 
I, I want to be with you too. Nothing makes me happier than knowing I am here at your side. My words come out, happy, whatever that was, sometimes stunned by sobs, but they speak my heart. A heart full of love that sometimes it cannot help but spill over in tears. Oh, that's so cute. I admit, that's adorable. Let's continue. This is part part four, I guess. The last one. Of, yeah, I, I think so. I don't know so. I have no clue. <coughs> You're a bit of a crybaby sometimes, huh? Lord Masamuni reaches towards me, we I mean sweeping the tears from my from beneath yeah I'm thirsty from beneath <laughs> beneath my um lashes with a careful touch. Mm hmm Don't cry. He leans in slowly using delicate kisses to drink the tears that fall. Masamune I speak his name on a stunned gasp, the sensation of the tip of his tongue still on my skin as he whispered so sweetly, I love you. Oh, that's the first time he said it? I think this is the first time he said it. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's the first time he said it. I have no clue, but yeah, it, that's, that's, yeah. I know. I love you too. He suddenly, suddenly his kisses are no longer dilly at all. His hand reaches to grasp mine as a hunger begins to take him. Keon. He better not he better not do no bound chicken wow. I, I don't want no S E X. I don't I don't want it. Before long, we are, are wrapped in the bed cloths, speaking our words of love on desperate whisper and pleas of sorrow. A night spent lamenting that as deeply as he finds himself in me. It will never be enough to stake the bonds of our love for one another. Morning comes upon us suddenly, piercing the dream of endless shadows. We leave the end still half lost in the bliss of one another, our fingers still twinning with each other beneath our sleeves. Once we get back to the castle, let's start to make arrangement for our wedding. Oh. Alright. You're just gonna say alright me? There's no way we can let Zane handle it all after all. <laughs> nope. Just as we get outside, Lord Zane and Lord Kodro are coming out from the in nearby. Hey, did you two have fun together? Not like that, Zane. No, no, not like that. No, no, please don't think like that, Zane. We did, thank you very much. From that look on your face, I say a couple of things came up last night for sure. Lord Zane, please. I immediately look to my Lord Masamuni, which only makes him laugh. Like I had to ask, you two still want each other, even after having all night. Zane, stop working that tongue of yours to bring the horses. Yes, darling, I heard you. <laughs> you sound, you made that sound like you two are couples. Though the rain has stopped, the blue sky is still full of thin threads of clouds. Still, there is something refreshing about it. It brightens this. As if it came to it solely to see the four of us on our way to Yorizawa. No sooner we have arrived at the gates of Yorizawa Castle the, than the retainers of, are rushing out to meet us. My lord, we have been waiting for you. What's going on? My lord, actually, le the Lady Yoshiham is here. And has requested an audience. My mother's here? On our way to the main hall, we find Lady Yoshihan in the cor corridor. 
as soon as she sees Masamune, she state her business without so much as a greeting. Masamune, there is someone I would like for you to meet. Let me guess, you hooked Masamune up with a girl. I know it, I know it. Who? Lord Masamune's brows raised to look at Lady Yoshihime rather abrupt way of speaking. I, I freaking, I, I kind of know what's going to happen. I, I know what's going to happen. I bet you anything the mom is going to make an arranged marriage and, I, and outcast me. Well, it froze, so um, I'm going to end it. Stay awesome, take care of words. Till next time, can you play the same you ride love ballad party? Bye.